hello lovely people once again welcome back to my channel and to another sewing tutorial so if you are watching me for the first time my name is lydia i'm a ghanaian a professional teacher a quality one at that a mama and a wife and i love everything fashion so if you love what i love kindly consider subscribing to help me grow this channel and to my existing subscribers i say thank you i'm so grateful may god bless you so today we are using the circle skirt method to sew hair bonnet let's get to it so to begin with let's introduce the tools for today and of course my ruler is an improvised one i advise you use the real ruler with the real measurements i'm using 12 inches for um, adults and you can use eight to nine for children or according to the volume of your hair measure all through 12 inches and i'm using paper pattern for today's project because the last time we did the free hand cutting and this is to indicate that um, if you are not conversant cutting through the fabric freely then using the paper as a guide is a very good option We need two different fabrics for sewing reversible hair bonnet and these are satin fabrics. We're going to go ahead and fold them into four equal parts, just as we did with the circle skirt. Now go ahead and place the pattern on top using the 90 degrees angle secure in place using pins or any um, material you think can hold it down repeat the process with the other fabric now you have two pieces nicely put together the mark there indicates that I'm going to sew from point to point and that opening is going to help us turn to the right side once we are done sewing. And always remember to sew from the wrong side. I'm making some tackings to hold the pieces together. You can use pins but I prefer always to use the tackings. Now the pieces are ready for sewing. So this is the opening that we left earlier to help us turn into the right side. And as you can see, it's nicely done. My fabric is very soft because it's for the hair you're going to sleep with it and do so many things you don't want to use very heavy fabric and because of that I'm using top stitching to relax it a little bit and and this is a very option this is completely optional you can decide to ignore top stitching but let's just say it's my kind of style to arrive at the same destination as everyone else so the fabric is well relaxed i like it this way make it easy to work with and today i'm making the frail kind of um, hair bonnet and so i'm going to go ahead to measure all through one inch and then i will divide it into two a little uh, one outside is going to be the frills and the inside is going to take the elastic band so now we have some two layers over there the outside layer is for the frills and the inside is where we're going to put the elastic band and that's it the hair bonnet is ready
oh my god my bonnet came out quite nice it's very lightweight the frill is super the color is awesome and i love it you can also use a needle if you don't have sewing machine around i have used a needle to sew one and i can tell you it was very nice and this type was done without sewing machine i use only needle and it's also the same as the first one i like it